Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man with some very important information for those of you who enjoy watching me TV. The network was recently dropped by over a dozen local TV stations in a trend that will likely continue in the future. Why is MeTV disappearing from some TV stations? Is it a plot to get cord cutters back to cable, satellite, or even the friendly TV streaming service that carries MeTV? If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. If my videos helped you cut the cord with an antenna, you can show your support by clicking the thanks button in this video. This is a new feature YouTube just released. First, I want to thank my viewer Nick Lemonakis for bringing this issue to my attention along with Matthew Kays of the Desk.net for a great article that contains all the TV stations that recently dropped MeTV. So some of you may have turned on your TV and noticed MeTV is no longer airing on your local TV channel. The network was recently dropped by over a dozen TV stations owned by Sinclair and Scripps. Why are TV stations dropping this popular network? TV stations are dropping MeTV to replace it with company-owned subchannels. You see, big media companies like Sinclair and Scripps own subchannels like Comet, Charge, and Defy TV. Instead of paying a separate TV station in the market to carry these subchannels, it makes more economical sense to host them on the TV stations they actually own. According to the Desk.net, here's a list of TV stations that just dropped MeTV over the past few days. While the TV stations are in smaller markets, millions of antenna viewers are likely to be affected. MeTV was also recently dropped by the Washington DC Fox affiliate. I want to make it clear that this is on the TV station side and not the MeTV network. In fact, MeTV's owner Weigel has spent significant capital to keep MeTV over the air for free. They purchased several TV stations in areas where the MeTV network was dropped. The company spent nearly $100 million alone on two TV stations in the New York City area. If MeTV was dropped on a TV station in your area, you do have a few options to get it back. If you live between two TV markets, you can set up a second antenna to try to pick it up. Definitely look into my antenna recommendation service for guidance on this. I will offer a money back guarantee if it's not possible to get MeTV over the air. You can also wait to see if MeTV is picked up by another TV station in the area. With how popular the network is, another local TV station may seize the opportunity and sign an affiliation deal. Another option is to sign up to the friendly TV streaming service. It offers MeTV along with dozens of other channels for about $7 a month. You can also contact your local TV station and let them know you are disappointed that MeTV was dropped. Be polite if you talk to someone over the phone as the decision to drop MeTV was made at the corporate level and not by the receptionist of your local TV station. This whole thing is an unfortunate situation where there aren't many winners. I can understand why TV stations would drop MeTV in favor of subchannels they own so that they don't have to pay a separate TV station to carry them. Now, if there is anyone to blame for this, it's Congress and the FCC for selling too much TV spectrum to cell phone companies. After all, Congress hid the whole FCC repack in the Middle Class Tax Relief and Job Creation Act of 2012. I'm not sure how selling scarce TV spectrum to cell phone companies is tax relief for the middle class, especially when TV stations were literally put off the air while private companies made millions. <coughs> Michael Dell of Dell Computers. What? Who said that? Thanks so much for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, Visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video and you can also click the thanks button. This is a new feature YouTube just released. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. 
If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I include a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and time related videos and have an awesome day.